Hey guys, this is CCNC. In this video, I'll be talking about the best mindset to have in pub games, improving and realizing the problem in your games, and having the best mindset and not holding a defeatist mentality, a mentality of everything is everyone else's fault, and I'm playing correctly because that is not conducive to improving. Pubs are widely considered to be very, very cancerous, to be toxic, to be hard to play because people feed, people whine, people flame, etc. And it can be very taxing on the emotions. A lot of people have the idea that, you know, they play well, you know, they get positive scores almost every game, but their team feeds and, you know, so they're stuck at a rough MMR, they're stuck at, you know, 3k, 4k, 2k, whatever it may be. And that's just not true. The reason you are at your MMR is because of your play. If you just look at how it works mathematically, if you are not a retard and you have five retards on the other team, then the most retards you can have on your team is four. So if you are better than everyone else, then over time you will gain MMR. It's just how math works. And if you don't believe in math, I'm not, I don't know. It can be very, very hard to accept that because nobody likes to realize that, hey, I'm the problem here. I need to get better. My team may have a bad games, but I have bad games too, and I have to work on that. There are some games where that are just unwinnable you know i have a furian that spawns and he tps into the fountain and no one said a word in the draft nothing and you know those games happen but the thing is for every game that happens on your team there's one that's going to happen on the other team so those games even on the end it's hard to think of that at the time whenever you've got the furian tp into their fountain and you can see the mmr slipping away but you just have to try and you know keep calm and have the goal in mind for your pubs to be either a having fun b having fun and improving or c just improving your goal should never be gaining MMR because if your goal is gaining MMR, then you will not improve or you'll improve very slowly. Everything you do will be focused towards winning and not improving. So if there's a perfect Huskar game and you're a Huskar master, then you're going to pick Huskar and you're going to win the MMR, whatever. Like, did you improve from that game? Probably not. You probably just followed a formula and won at draft, right? But if you're focused on improving, thinking about your mistakes, you know, you watch replays, you try your best to fix your mistakes and you be positive. You make the game easier for your team. Maybe you're a core player and you know your supports are behind. Give them the lane. Go jungle for a little bit to make space for them. You know, because people at low MORs are very, very bad for playing from behind, using little gold to do a lot. And so being nice to your team and generally just not flaming, having a positive attitude, all these things really, really improve your pub experience. But just especially remembering that you are the reason that you lose your games. And if you were better, if you were Arteezy, then you would be 9k like him. I have to realize that as well as a 7.4k player who's not 8k. I wish I was 8k, but I'm just not good enough, and there's a reason for that. And I work to improve on that. A lot of people also have the misconception that, you know, their teammates hold them back, or that playing support is very, very hard to game MMR. I was a 6.5k player, I think, and I made a Smurf account because my account was whacked up, it was being weird. And so I made a new account and I calibrated 4.5k and I won 25 games in a row, so like 5.2k in like the span of like a week because MMR works it just does like it's a system of math really and sometimes you'll get stupid games that don't really work like that but those even out in the end people that say support is impossible to win with I point you towards Misery to Stan King players like that that have only played support literally only in solo queue and are high 7k that are growing professional players and once again it's the mentality of, you know, I can't gain MMR with support. Well, you shouldn't be looking to gain MMR. You should be looking to improve your support play, looking to understand the game better, to be able to lead your team, to be able to become a better communicator, better leader. Those are all things that are good for a support to learn to do. And whenever you focus on the MMR, it sort of takes away the point of the game and just ruins your mentality and makes you fall into the cycle of my team is bad that's why i'm low MMR, and you know it's false but eventually you sort of whine enough to where you believe that it is true and so just trying to stay out of that mentality and remembering that if you are better than everyone else then you will gain mmr the reason that you want to be focusing on how to improve and not how to gain an MMR is that one does not lead to the other and one does. Gaining an MMR does not lead to improving. It leads to maybe an inflated ego and having a higher number is nice, you know? It feels good to have an 8 as your first number instead of your 7 or a 7 instead of a 6. But whenever you improve, you will gain an MMR. It's not the other way around. 
like, you know, you get better, maybe you get better at laning, or you understand how to farm more efficiently, or, you know, better item builds, stuff like that, then that's going to lead to increasing your MMR, and just sort of understanding having a better time with it, and in that way, just becoming a better player while you gain MMR. Because if you focus on the MMR, then you'll get frustrated, and you'll get angry whenever you see MMR slipping away, because that's what you're focused on. If you're focused on improving, then you know some random game where you lose some MMR, that's not going to irritate you, right? Because that's not your goal. Your goal isn't getting MMR, your goal is improving. And the MMR just falls. It's a nice thing that comes after you improve. Just remembering those things, and trying to have the best attitude to improve, and trying to be a positive, nice person in pubs that just wants to improve, and have a fun time with us, some other people playing a video game, because after all, it is a video game.